Hey, hello everyone! Welcome to this new video. Today I am doing my entire photo card collection, which is crazy. I've never done this before and I did try to do it halfway through the past year. Uh, last year when you're seeing this, right now as I'm recording it's still December, but I will upload this video in January, so happy new year, I guess. Um, <laughs> But um, I did try to do it halfway through the year, um, but that video totally failed. I hated it, I hated everything about it, so it never went up. And also I felt it would be better to just do it at the start of the year, to kind of like start at the right point, I guess. So that is why I am doing it now. And yeah, I'm very excited for this. I've never, like I said, I've never done this before, so I'm just gonna kind of wing it and see how it goes. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with my smallest binder. Now, this has never been on my channel before, and the reason for that is that I don't really consider it part of my collection. But since this is like my full photo card collection, I decided to just include it. And this is my thank you card binder. So basically anytime I trade with anyone or buy from someone and they have little thank you cards that look like photo cards like this, I like to put them in here. This front cover isn't a thank you card, by the way, it's just a freebie, but I thought it was cute, so I put it on the front. And then basically all of these are all from Chloe, which is kind of funny. <laughs> um, but so far, anyone else who I've traded with hasn't done cards like this yet. Um, so hence why they're all from the same person. Except for the very last one which is this one. This one is actually from like a shop that sells K-pop related merchandise, I would say. And yeah, that's my little thank you card binder. Then continuing on that trend, I also have my own thank you cards, which I um, had made. And this is the first batch that I have. Um, cute. I'm fully through them now. Um, I did also already order a second batch, which I ordered way too early. Honestly, because um, it's not even accurate with what I would use anymore. And right now, I'm actually only fully through the first batch. So I'm only starting to use the second batch now. Um, but yeah, I wish I would have waited a little bit longer because then I could have added Tere from Zero Base One as well as Connie from Bonus. Um, but I can do that in my next batch. So yeah, those are my own little thank you cards. Then continuing with the A5 binders, I have my first A5 binder, because I have two. <laughs> and this one holds, as you can probably tell by this for the benefit, as well as this cute little keychain, Purple Kiss. Um, it doesn't only hold Purple Kiss, there's another group in that, but we'll get to that. And here I just have my Dozy photo cards. It's a bit of a sad collection, because I used to collect her, and then I was like, actually, I don't want to collect Purple Kiss. But then I thought, you know what, I do. And so I had already sold some cards and then now I need to get them back. But it's okay. <laughs> I, can, I can just find them on my own time. So this collection is a little bit sad. I'm actually also convinced that these got lost in the mail, these cards that I had on the way. Because it's been super long since they've been sent out and they still haven't arrived. So I'm going to need to look for those again. But yeah. And I actually have nothing for Cabin Fever, I just realized. That's a bit sad. <laughs> I do have the main album completed for Festa, and I have some Poco album stuff um, here, but I just haven't stored those yet. And then also in this binder, I have Kiss of Life, for which I collect nothing. Um, I, however, am planning on some changes, which I will talk about in my collection plans video, which will hopefully go up next. If everything goes right, it should be the next video that goes up after this. Um, but I am going to change this around so this will not remain like this. But I do have Nati here and I have three of her debut era cards. This is actually a pretty good benefit. Um, but these are two of her debut era cards. I need to find the last one. And then I have nothing for the comeback. But like I said, I will, <laughs> I will get to that. I will find those on my own time. Um, these are like collections. This binder is like kind of one that I like to not stress about that much and just have fun with. Then we have my second A5 binder, which holds one of the groups that it holds. It's Stacy. 
I need to change this cover out because it's so wonky. <laughs> but uh, here's my Stacey collection. I am fully up to date with Stacey, which is really nice. I feel like this is the only collection that I'm actually like fully up to date with and I don't need to like back collect anything for it, which is really nice. And it's also the reason that I like my Stacey collection this much. Um, because I'm fully up to date with it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we have all the photo cards. I put the circle card here because I had like an em empty space here. So I just put that over there. And then here for Teen Fresh, I do still need to put the photo cards in. I do have them on hand. Just haven't gotten to store those yet. I did think about filming a storing video before filming this video. Um, so my collection could be like as complete as possible. But then I quickly realized I didn't have nearly enough photo cards to film an entire story in photo card video, so that wouldn't work. And also, I realized that my collection will never really be fully completed while these groups are still active. So I might as well just show the progress along the way, because I think it's nice to see progress too. And yeah, I just decided to not worry about that too much and just show my collection as it is <laughs> at the end of 2023. Anyway, next thing is binary. We also have Ive, and for Ive I collect Liz. Uh, for debut era, I did also collect Ray because they only had two photo cards, so this worked out <laughs> to fill, fill in a four pocket. Um, going forward, I do only have Liz's photo cards though. So we have the first eras completed. I do still need to find a lot of photo cards for Ive mine. But I have one on hand, one more on the way, so I need to find like three, I think. Um, and then I have mine will also be completed, so that's really nice. And then back here, I forgot to say this, but this also applies to Stacy. I do have some pre-order benefits, but I don't actually like fully collect pre-order benefits or anything for both Stacy and Ive. I just keep whatever I get during the orders I guess like when I buy the albums because I do like to buy albums when they come out but like I don't necessarily need pre-order benefits for either of these groups so I just keep them in the back of their section <laughs> now we're getting slightly bigger we have my A5 wide binder just like the purple kiss and kiss of life binder this whole this is like for more chill collections taking it very slow um, and the first collection I have in here is Kazuha from the Seraphim and I collect from Anti-Fragile onward because for Fearless, the amount of photo cards doesn't work in this binder. But I do really like to keep Kazuha in this binder. So I did this <laughs> and I'm collecting from Anti-Fragile onward. So I collect six cards for each era and for Anti-Fragile, I have the regular album cards and compact cards. And then for Unforgiven, uh, it, it's not completed. I need to work on that but this once again will be the album cards and then this i believe is a mix of the weavers cards and the compact cards and then next collection is haruna from billy um also a very slow collection once again i think these cards are also lost just like the purple kiss ones because they have been on the way for probably even longer than the purple kiss ones and they still haven't arrived so i'm just gonna assume that they are never going to arrive but i do have this era completed i keep thinking this is the second era but it's actually the third because here i am we have two cards for the first four for the second so it like works out on the sixth page and then they had six cards for this era and six cards for this era um i haven't really been up to date with billy whatsoever and i haven't even <laughs> looked into their newest album yet um and so this is also where the collection ends. <laughs> I do have empty pages back here, but that's just because I didn't know where else to keep these pages because they don't really fit into any other binders that I own. This is my only A5 wide binder. Um, but yeah, this is kind of where my Haruna collection ends right now. Now we move on to the full-sized A4 binders. And the first one is my miscellaneous one, <laughs> which isn't honestly that special. It's once again, really small collections. Uh, first one I have in here is Cheon, And for her, I just keep I just kept um, the cards that I pulled. I believe that's the case for every group in this L, uh, binder, by the way. But uh, I just kept the cards that I pulled in the albums that I bought for her. So we have debut era, and then we have her first comeback. 
I do still need to buy the most recent comeback from her, but I just haven't really gone to that. This is also very much a low-key binder. We will get to like my full active collections later in the video. I'm gonna do those later. Next we have Onda. Oh wait, this is a collection where I don't only collect album pulls um, because I collect Onda and I collect three cards for each era, except for this top row where I mixed these two eras together. But other than that, I am collecting three cards for each of the eras. And honestly, I don't have a lot right now, but <laughs> we can work on that. I'm seeing Everglow in January, by the way, which is really exciting. And I can't wait to see them. Then we have G Idol, for which I also just kept my pulls. I don't really have a bias in G Idol. It used to be mini, but honestly, I really like everyone in G Idol, so I don't really have a bias anymore. Um, but I loved Queen Card. Queen Card deserved Song of the Year, in my opinion. It was everywhere. It was amazing. Queen Card is my Song of the Year, <laughs> and so I bought the album. Uh, two Pokka albums, because they're cheaper, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and these were my pulls in those, and yeah, that's what I have here. Then this is very random, and I don't really know why I have this, but I have some 17 cards. I love 17, don't get me wrong, but I don't collect them. I just randomly bought an FML album when it came out, in which I pulled these two DK cards. And then I also bought two Mingyu cards for whatever reason. Um, no reason actually i just bought them without thinking and now they're here <laughs> and then this exact same story i um i used to collect stray kids actually i used to love stray kids a lot i still like them i just don't really enjoy listening to them as much as i did like for me miro was like their peak title track i must say i really really enjoy la 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 I don't know how many laws there are, but I really enjoy that song as well. Um, but for me, Miro was just peak. And then after that, it just kind of... <laughs> I don't know why, but... Yeah, I did really enjoy the Maxident. I didn't... How am I going to say this? I really like the Maxident concept. However, I wasn't the biggest fan of the song. But I like the photo cards. And I was in my spontaneous i'm gonna buy things mood apparently and i bought three photo cards <laughs> so that's what's here um very random i didn't even fill this up with white sleeves that says enough honestly and then back here i have some 80s cards this isn't where my 80s collection is in 80s have their own binder but i put these in here because i first of all didn't really like the look of them in my binder second of all they i mm, I don't really consider them part of my collection and that is because first of all they're not selfie photo cards they're more like concept cards and the second reason is that i just got them all i didn't have to work for it and that kind of felt like cheating <laughs> and for me it just, i just didn't enjoy looking at these cards um yeah if you're wondering why i just have these all it's because i um i bought a bunch of albums to join a fan call but then I didn't win the fan call, <laughs> so that's kind of sad, but like I had enough to fully collect OTA for like all these sets. And that's what's here. Also, I have this page from um, concert, the concert freebies. <laughs> I forgot the word. Oh my God. I have concert freebies over here, which are cute. Then my next binder makes a horrible noise. And it currently holds one us as well as zero base one. That is gonna change though, and I will fully explain what I'm gonna do with those collections in my um, collection plans video for 2024. But for now, I'm just gonna show you what I have. And for <laughs> one, is it's honestly sad. I do have a couple cards on hand that I still need to store, which you can see by all these yellow sleeves. So this collection will expand a lot. It will basically double in like the amount of cards that I have. Um, but yeah i just need to store those still which will be in my next video and if you follow my channel you know that i saw one live in november which was amazing i loved it and i'm gonna see them again which is crazy because i got tickets for music bank in antwerp and one is gonna be there which is just great also stacy is gonna be there i forgot to mention that when we went through stacy but stacy is also gonna be there and then also, Zero Base 1 is gonna be there, which is like a perfect little 
transition. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited for that because Zero Base One have honestly become ults for me. I am switching ults a lot this year, which is strange because Twice and Etsy had been my ults from like 2019 till the beginning of 2023. So like for four years I had the same ults and now it's just like switching a lot and I haven't had that in a while. So it's like a bit crazy, <laughs> but Zero Base One have become ults of mine. Um, and right now they're also um, my only ults together with Etsy. And I told myself since their contract currently only is two more years and then they're gonna disband, which I really don't like saying, but like it's reality. I need to face it. They are gonna disband in two years. I told myself that I was gonna see Zero Base One if they ever came to Europe, no matter what. And then they came to Europe in Antwerp. And so I got tickets and I actually have VIP tickets, which is crazy, um, which, because it means I will probably be somewhere in the first few rows and I can like see them fully up close and that's scary, honestly. But it's like, it's really crazy that I'm finally gonna see them after like so many things happening basically. And yeah, I forgot to mention this, but I collect OT9 now, by the way which wasn't the case in my last storing video, but <laughs> I decided that I want to collect OT9 because like I said, they are ults now. So yeah, <laughs> OT9. And I have just a setup here for um, Melting Point. I forgot the album name. Well, Melting Point, um, but I haven't received any of those albums yet. So that's empty. So we're just gonna skip all those pages and we're gonna go through my pre-order benefit section, which is also pretty empty, but there are a couple cards there, so we're gonna go through it. And I collect all pre-order benefits for today, which kind of crazy, like as if collecting OT9 wasn't enough. But um, I've always wanted to collect all pre-order benefits for someone. And I was like, you know what? They only have a contract for two years. Might as well do it. <laughs> I'm, I like gaslighted myself into doing it. Um, still very happy with the decision though, because I do really like the pops that they are doing. And so here's the first page. I do also have Gunnox here on the back because when I first joined the group orders and when they like debuted, I wasn't sure who my bias was. It was between Terea and Gunnox, but now I'm sure that it's today. So I'm only collecting his period of benefits. However, I like this card so much that I decided to keep it. So that's why it's here. Um, and yeah, I don't have that many period of benefits. I do have this one and this one is on hand. I do have a bunch on the way, as you can see by like the pink stickies. Um, but yeah, I am very happy that they only did three pages worth of pre-order benefits for a debut era because I don't need to back collect as much and it makes my life a lot easier, so that's great. So here I have the pre-order benefits for Melting Point, which is crazy. They released like so many more. I have like five pages and then two extras right now. Um, <laughs> I did secure all of them in a group order, multiple group orders, so I don't have to worry about that, but like it's, it's still crazy that it's so much. This also isn't in the order that I'm gonna put them in um, because right now it's just an order of release. I just added it on as more things got released. Um, I did make a little like layout of how I want it to be. Oh, I can actually show that. Let me show that. So I did like make little layouts of what I wanted the pages to look like. And this one is one of my favorites because he's holding cute things. And like, yes, this card, I love it. Yes. So this one, I don't know. I just love these two. They are siblings. <laughs> like the cards aren't, it doesn't make sense. It makes sense in my head. These two are probably my favorite from the whole era. I don't know why, they're just adorable. And I love them. So they're on the first page. And then also this one, I'm also like, this page is also really cute because he's wearing hats. Except for these two, because he didn't have any other head cards, but like, it's cute. So I made little layouts like that and that was loud. I will set that up later. I will change the sleeves out, but I need to write more sticky notes because I just did it like this. Um, but then I realized that that doesn't work if I change the layout. So yeah, I will, I will fix that sometime. And then on the last page here, I just have some merch cards, I guess. Um, so we have the light stick card. I don't have the light stick card, but that's what I'm gonna put here, the light stick card. Um, season's greetings card, the mood light card, and then like pre-order 
benefits from the season's greetings because I joined all Pruder benefits for that as well, as, as if I wasn't crazy enough. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's it for Zero Base One. Oh my god. So the next group I collect is 80s. 80s have their own binder and that is because the collection got quite big over time. So if you've been following my channel or my Instagram or Twitter or whatever, if you follow me anywhere, you know that I have fallen in love with 80s very fast over the like last year and a little bit of 2022, but mainly last year. And <laughs> I started the collection also last year, I believe. And honestly, I've gotten quite far. At first, the cards really confused me because as you can see, like this is like the first couple cards from the treasure series and here they have square corners, most of them. But then there's also some with rounded corners like this. This is one of the first 80s cards that I bought. And at the time I didn't know that there were different like presses. And so I just bought it because I was like, yeah, I found a card, I can put it in my collection. Um, but now afterwards I realized that there's like different presses and now I, well, I don't need to, but I want to like get one with the square corners for here because the Fever Part 1 cards all square corners. So I want it to be cohesive and like, I want this one to also square corners. So it's gonna be a thing, but oh well. So yeah, for treasure series, I'm actually doing quite well considering the albums are out of print. Um, I'm quite happy with how far I've gotten. For Fever Part 1, I have absolutely nothing. Just can't seem to find anything. Same for Fever Part 2. These two are all I have. It's sad, but I just can't find anything for it. And it, yeah. FIFA Part 3 on the other hand is going really well, so that is nice, I guess. Um, I haven't been really looking for 80s cards lately. These yellow sleeves, by the way, mean that I have them on hand. I just haven't stored them. Um, but like I was saying, I haven't really looked for 80s cards lately, and that's because I've just been focusing on like Itzy and Stacy and I've basically <laughs> all girl groups, honestly. Um, oh, and Zero Base One. I forgot to mention Zero Base One, but I've been focusing a lot on Zero Base One as well. Um, so 80s has kind of been on the background lately. And yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this collection, honestly. Um, it's just there. It's been fun collecting all these cards. I've been hosting some group orders for 80s. Um, that is something I started doing this year, by the way, hosting group orders. And it's been fun. Um, I've definitely found out that it also can be very difficult. Um, and so my respect for group order managers has gone up way more. Um, not that I didn't respect group order managers before, by the way, but now that I am doing it myself, I definitely realize there's way more that goes into it than what you think. Like, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that you probably didn't even realize, but yeah. Uh, we have pre-order benefits. Um, <laughs> I bought these two in my... Um, I am crazy and I need a lot of 80s photo cards era, which was basically right after the concert because, um, yeah, post-concert depression apparently makes me buy photo cards. I don't really know why. Um, I'm not really looking for these at the moment. I'm just focusing on the album cards first. But yeah, maybe I can look at these later. I don't really know. Um, I do have a full page of period of benefits for Bouncy era though, so that's really nice. I also have an OT8 set of these because I applied for a fan call. Um, I already said that in my miscellaneous section, but like I applied for a fan call and so I bought a lot of albums, way more than I needed, but it's okay. And so I was actually able to keep an OT8 set of period of benefits, so <laughs> yeah, that's here. And then these are the only ones I've claimed for the latest era. Um, like I said, I haven't really been focusing on 80s as much, but I did still, I hosted a group order for K-Town and I did join for these for the benefits still. So that is nice, I guess. I just need to find some to fill the rest of this page. Then we have a little miscellaneous Uno page with basically things that I bought randomly. Actually, these two are the only ones that I really bought randomly. This one, I... Well, I bought it when I still didn't have like the layout I have right now. So it like worked. This is the Digipack from Movement, um, from the Movement album. So yeah, I didn't have a place for it to go. So I just put it here <laughs> with my miscellaneous cards. And then this one is from the pop-up store. And I love this card for that reason, because I don't know, the pop-up store, I just had 
a really fun time at the pop-up store even though we weren't there for so long it was really fun being there um and yeah that's why i really like this card this one is the birthday merch and this one is another like pretty benefit that i didn't have room for on my page because it's already full so i put this one over here and then here we have more miscellaneous cards. We have group cards, some random song up here to benefit, which I'm honestly gonna get rid of because I don't need them. I really don't. Also these three, I really don't need them. I am gonna keep this one because same as this one, it's from the pop-up store and I just have really nice memories attached to it. So I wanna keep it for that reason. And yeah, that's my 80s collection. So my next collection we can move on to is my Twice collection, which is my biggest collection probably at the moment. Um, that is gonna change though, because little spoiler for my um, 2024 collection plans video, I am gonna drop some Twice sets because it's honestly just too much for me right now. Like I love Twice and I love their photo cards. They have like some of the cutest photo cards, but the amount I'm collecting right now is just too much. And even though I'm like very close to being finished with everything, it's, it's, yeah <laughs> it's just too much so yeah that's what will be happening in 2024 i don't think i will be dropping a lot at once because i'm definitely not ready for that but i will be dropping some for twice you can definitely tell which eras are my favorite um <laughs> because it's the eras i collect more photo cards for for example for summer nights i am collecting quite a lot of sets i believe like five or six so i haven't counted them um but yeah it's a lot and then for the next era, yes or yes, I'm only collecting three uh, because those cards are just not my favorites. They're, they're cute, but like they're darker, I guess. And I like the brighter concept for twice, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's why I lean more towards like summer nights and fancy for their photo cards. But then also I really like feel special cards, which you will see by the amount of feel special I collect. Um, I also really like that. And I guess you could say that's also a little bit darker, but I just really like the like, elegant concept on them, I guess, which they kind of had for feel special with like the cute dresses. I'm sad that they stopped doing the um, colored borders. Cause I just felt like that was that was like the staple for twice photo cards. And they haven't done it since Feel Special. Um, they did it on the back of the photo cards for Eyes Wide Open, but that's just not the same, you know. I just I want the borders. I don't know, it just feels better with the borders. Like this is the very last set with the colored borders, which is why I love it. <laughs> but also, I don't know, it just feels like it's not really feel special because all of them have like borders like this and they look like, I don't know, elegant. And I guess this doesn't really fit that elegant vibe. I'm not realizing that that's probably why they didn't do the colored borders for Feel Special on all the photo cards. Um, so I, I get it, I guess. But still, I love the colored borders and I would love to have them back. Cause like for a concept like alcohol free or scientist like it, it it would have worked the colored borders you know but i guess we're past that phase um <laughs> so we're doing no borders or like borders that match the concept now i think this is one of the sets that i will be dropping which i'm sad about because this is one of my favorite chaeon cards it's really cute but like overall as the oc9 set it's just not my favorite it doesn't really stand out to me Whereas this one I think is really cute, like they all look stunning. Except for Diane who has a far away card. I'm not saying that Diane doesn't look stunning by the way, she does. But like, she has a far away card, which is like... Yeah, it always bothers me <laughs> when they're they're like, uncohesive. Which is, I think, twice honestly does quite frequently. <laughs> like for example, for Eyes Wide Open, there are so many sets that are so inconsistent, which is so bothersome, but yeah for more and more i'm also only collecting three sets um and i honestly probably picked the two hardest sets that i have with these two because i cannot find any of these stupid cards but i like them the most together with this one so i wanted those sets and yeah i'm only collecting three sets for more and more anyway so it's fine eyes wide open on the other hand i'm also collecting quite let, let me count them actually two three 
four, five. I'm collecting five sets for eyes wide open. I think that can definitely be less. <laughs> I just don't know which set I would drop because I love them all. And I feel like I picked one of each concept almost. Like, except I didn't do the yellow one because it just wasn't cohesive. Like, this one is super cohesive and I love it because they all look the same. Well, they don't look the same, but like, it's all the same vibe. <laughs> same with this one. Like, it's just super cohesive. This was my initial OT9 set from before I collected um, OT9 because I used to collect my top three. But then with the extra cards that I had, I collected OT9 sets to like complete everything. Um, and this was the OT9 set I initially collected because even though they're far away cards, which I literally just said I don't like as much, they all look so nice and cohesive and they're all with flowers. And I like that. Now we get to Taste of Love and this is where they stopped doing 11 photo cards per album, which thank whoever made that decision because, oh my God, it was just so much. Um, so they had like two sets in this outfit, two sets in this outfit, and then one set in this outfit. So I collected one set for each outfit. But yeah, I collected the one with the, where they're holding the drinks for this one. Then I collected the one where they're holding the flower, except Gio said, I'm gonna do the opposite. <laughs> She's holding a drink here and a flower there, which I mean, Gio often is the one that doesn't like do the same as the others. So I shouldn't be surprised at this point, but like, I don't know, I just, it's just kind of funny. And then we have Formula of Love, for which I'm only collecting two sets, which is like the least I collect, I believe, for twice. But that's just because I couldn't really decide what, what sets I wanted to collect. So I decided to go over this one because this one really screams scientist to me. And I also really liked it, as well as this one, because it's pink. <laughs> and I associate pink with that song as well. And before anyone comments on this, I know that this technically doesn't go with this set. But I have this one and I love this Geo card. And <laughs> since she's the often the one doing something other than what the rest is doing, I was like, you know what? It doesn't matter. She's in the middle and it still looks cohesive because she's wearing pink. So yeah, I kept it. And then we get to between one and two. And for between one and two, I'm collecting the plushie set, which is actually going surprisingly well. When this album first released, everyone was talking about, oh my god, plushies. And I was like, ah, it's gonna be so hard to collect because they're holding plushies. Because if you know anything about collecting photo cards, is that if they're holding anything like plushies or food related, it's gonna be the hard to find. But since it's twice, I guess that doesn't apply because twice photo cards are generally quite easy to find. So I am very thankful for that. <laughs> And then this is the second set I collected for between one and two. Here I just picked um, the cards that I like the most from this like concept for each member. So this technically isn't a set, but I like this the most. So that's what we have. <laughs> and then I did the same for between one and two. This one obviously is a set because it's the only one in this outfit. But for this one, I don't think this technically is the set that it's supposed to be. Um, and the same for this one, but I just picked whatever cards I thought looked good together and what cards I liked for each of the members. So that is what we have. And then also the Digipack card, still working on that. And then here we have the only non-album set I have, which is the Lightstick cards, because I saw them at concert actually uh, in September and that was really nice. I'm so glad that I got to experience that and that I went. <laughs> um, and for the concert, I bought the light stick. So I have the light stick cards. And then on the back here, I also have this Cheon card, which I believe is from the DVD. I'm not sure though. I wanted it in a giveaway and I was like, I don't really know where to put it. So that's where it went. <laughs> and then we have reached the very last group that I collect, which is Etsy. And for this, I actually need to switch the camera around because I collect them like this, so let me just do that real quick. So, my Etsy collection. Little thing about my Etsy collection is that I use Meow Cafe cards, and they are really shiny, which is nice, because it looks clean. But for filming purposes, it really isn't, because it creates a really big glare. Um, so I try to eliminate the glare as much as possible. There's still a bit in this area, I believe. Um, but I just, 
I just can't get rid of it. I'm sorry, I really did my best. But I can't fully get rid of the glare because these pages are just so shiny and reflective. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're just gonna have to make do with this. So I just looked at the camera and I realized that if I hold the pages like this, the glare isn't as bad. So <laughs> I will try and do that as best as I can. Um, I cannot see what I'm filming right now because the camera is above my head. Um, but I will try to show it as best as possible. I really don't know how else I can like fix this. But my Etsy collection I collect in 10 pocket pages because I collect OT5 and I really like this layout. I just think it looks really cute. And if you see these blue sticky notes, that means I have the card on hand. I just haven't stored it yet. So yeah, I've been collecting Etsy OT5 for a little bit now. Um, I used to collect top three, but then I slowly worked my way into collecting OT5. And I really like it, especially in this layout. Um, I like this way more than what I had before. I used to do the double spread. Um, wasn't the biggest fan of it though, but like this, I genuinely really like my collection like this. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. And over here, since both uh, It's Me and Not Shy have three cards in the album, I like mixed two of them onto one page. I am getting hiccups. That is such a bad timing. Oh my god. Especially like this, if like the pages are completed, they look so nice and it's just so... Yes, I really like it. <laughs> And honestly, I don't really know what else to say about my Etsy collection. Um, it's definitely grown a lot. I collect a lot for Etsy now, but I really like what I am collecting. So I'm really happy with where my collection is at right now. And honestly, back collecting for Etsy is not difficult at all. So I am just enjoying this collection and like kind of going slow, but also not really, because like I am buying and trading quite a lot for Etsy, um, but still I am enjoying it, which is a really good thing, I think. Um, there are some like pages like this, which just have one card on it, but it's fine, honestly. Like these are more difficult cards to get. So it's like, it doesn't bother me as much. What does bother me is that I don't have white sleeves that fit these pages, um, but I will do another Meow Cafe order in January. And I will put the new white sleeves that they released in that order so that I can finally <laughs> give this clear card a white background because this just, I don't know, it's not, it's not it. <laughs> yeah, we get into Checkmate. I always forget that Sneakers is the title track that's paired with Checkmate. Cause it just doesn't, it, it just doesn't make sense. Like, why didn't they also do like some photo card sets with the sneakers concept? Cause like, I do really like the bright Y2K concept, but they just only have this, which I also love this concept, don't get me wrong, but I feel like they could have used both and make it like, I don't know, make it <laughs> make more sense, I guess. Then we get into Cheshire. I love Cheshire so much. It's one of my favorite songs by them. Like when it released, it was like, I liked it, but it wasn't like that, like it wasn't my favorite, but now I, I love it so much. And like every time it comes on when I'm in my car, I'm like, yes, this song is so good. And I don't know why it, it took a bit for me to like love the song so much, but yeah, it's grown a lot on me. Then we have Kill My Doubt. For this, I have a lot of empty spaces and that is because I have those cards um, on hand and I knew I would get them from my group order. So I just didn't make any like fillers for that because believe it or not, making these paper fillers that I have right here, honestly, is really time consuming. <laughs> so I decided to like just leave these spots empty because I knew they were on the way to me anyway. I have the regular album cards complete right now. I just need to store everything. I feel like I've said that quite a bunch this video, but it's okay. Then we have uh, the other album versions. So we have the cassette cards, which will go here. We have the limited one, which is the selfie where they're wearing the earphones, I believe. Then we have the bet on me version will go here. And here I will actually have an OT5 set of period of benefits from K-Town for you. Because I didn't know this at the time. I thought I was just getting Urujin's, um 
Okay, Tom Pro the benefit, but apparently my group order manager was ordering also the limited and the cassette and the special version from K-Town for you. And apparently for all of those, you also got the same Pro the benefit. And I ordered exactly five among lo like all album types, I guess. So I got an OT5 set. So that worked out perfectly for me, coincidentally. <laughs> uh, so yeah. And then we have limited two, which is like the mirror selfie thing, as well as the clear cards, which will go here. And then there's just a bunch of empty pages here for the new Born to Be comeback, which I will just skip over really quick because they're empty. <laughs> and then we have unit cards. Now this is something new. I didn't use to collect unit cards. I actually like the unit cards and I like them laid out like this because there's 10. So it works out perfectly. <laughs> and like, I don't know. I think it's cute like that. This page is for not shy, but I don't have any not shy units. So uh, let's just skip over that. Then we have Cheshire units, for which I also have quite a lot. I really like these. They're adorable, with like little cat ears. And yes, I love. And then Kill My Doubt, which is a little bit sad because I only have one, but <laughs> it's okay. And then we get into my pre-order benefit section, for which I need to rotate my camera again. So here we have my little Rujian pre-order benefit section. I did change this out a little bit from like the last time you saw it. And that is because I am planning on changing how I collect pre-order benefits for the next year. Um, but I will talk more about that in my 2024 collection plans video. So for right now, these are the pre-order benefits I have for Checkmate. Continuing on to this page, it's also Checkmate. Then here we have Cheshire. Change this layout around a little bit too. And some more Cheshire. Then we have Kill by Doubt, for which I still have a couple uh, that I need to store. And we have my setup for the new era. Um, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot about that. We also have a page with random cards because uh, I bought them and I didn't have anywhere else to put them. And I don't want to collect OT5 for either of these. So I just put them like in the back of my pre order benefits section. So those were all of my photo cards and that is my entire photo card collection. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope I will continue seeing you in 2024. Bye!